I was just reminiscing about the old All Activity tab that used to be on YouTube. It allowed you to see anything that the people you're subscribed to liked or favorited or even commented on. Now, content creators could turn that off so people can't see what they're, they're liking and all that. So it's not like there was a privacy issue, but that was the best. That was just such a great option. I, I, that's the number one way I found new content. And it never failed to deliver. You know, now at the same time, you know, there were some channels that I was subscribed to that were kind of iffy. And they would like a bunch of things that were, well, like, you know, stuff that talks about it, it, Bob Whitaker's mantra, that kind of stuff. And uh, montages of black people committing crimes and such, right? And so, yeah, it did. It could lead to stuff like that. So looking back now at these issues that people are talking about, like with Facebook and the things that they, they've allowed people to go down rabbit holes, well, it's, it's just mainly an issue of giving people things that are similar to what they're looking at. And when Google got rid of the all activity tab, it pissed a lot of people off. It sure pissed me off. I think it's the worst move they ever did, quite honestly. And they said, oh, we're, we're doing this to, to give more screen real estate. And then three months later, they gave us the trending tab. You know, they, they, I just wish, it, it's just sad how dishonest they've been about all this stuff. But, you know, they, they want to curate what we see. There's more of a, like the, the whole whistleblowing thing with Facebook. That's all about trying to have big, uh, big tech control even more of what we see. Disallowing us to see certain things. Nope, you can't go down that rabbit hole anymore. Now, Obviously, some of the rabbit holes were dangerous, but I don't like having everything curated for me. Then it was nice. It was sure a lot nicer when the, the, the Internet was more of the Wild West. And now the only now. Yeah, there, there's tons of alternative places you can go, but they're filled with with. Sorry, they're filled with deplorable people. I don't know. It's kind of weird. I, I'm. I'm wondering if some at some point in the future we may end up seeing a bunch of websites because we don't have net neutrality anymore, you know, whether some of the internet providers might start blocking our access to a number of sites. Of course, then people could use VPNs, but it would certainly stop a number of people from seeing that stuff. Most people aren't going to get a VPN, so but uh, the the wild wild west element of the internet I think is going to be done in 10 years. Almost going to be like 1984. Isn't that going to be nice? I also see us going towards a demolition man kind of thing on the internet too. Big tech will demand that everyone act like everyone did on demolition man. Have a joy, joy day, everyone. Once things get to that point, I think a lot of the internet will have uh, lost some of its usefulness, you know? At the same time, I, I can see the negative sides to what the internet has done to, to society. And there are some definite truths about, you know, that uh, whistleblower talking about how Facebook targets kids. That's absolutely true, and it's tragic, and they shouldn't be able to do that. The main things that I have an issue with is that they're going to try to stop people from seeing certain information. So, I mean, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be just like uh, Google. When you, when you try to look up, you, you try to do a... a uh, not Google. It's just going to be just like YouTube. Hello. It's going to be just like YouTube. When you try to do a search for a subject, if mainstream media has ever covered it at all, you'll get pages and pages and pages of that before you ever get something of some individual talking about it, right? I guess I don't know where I'm going, but all right. Have a joy, joy day, everyone.